Mavocha, thank you very much for joining us here at uh, Pram Sot with Masatsi. Yeah. Uh, it's taken a while, but finally we are here and uh, welcome. Yeah. Um, before we start, I want us to, to talk about your nickname. Uh, My Mavoji. Mavoji. Yeah. yeah. Just tell me, how did you get this nickname? Yeah, funny enough, I got the, the nickname for my grandma. Ah. Yeah, when and I was I hear there's a story behind that. Yeah, there is a story <laughs> behind that name. It's not football related. Yeah. It's in my language, my, I'm a Tonga. Yeah. So my grandma used to say, Mavoj. Yeah. I used to eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so every time I come back home from playing, yeah. I will want food. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why. So I don't know yeah. You finish the grocery. Yeah, I used to finish the grocery. Because <laughs> you know, when you play in the streets, yeah. coming back home, you're hungry. And you know, you can be there for the whole day, play for the whole day. Yeah, you, you know, when you go as a kid, go and play football, you even forgot about mm. time. Mm. Then, when it's late, around three, you say, it's time to eat. Ish. Then I go back home, yeah. rush back yeah. to go and play. Yeah. yeah. Then, something tells me, I see your chain here, it's got number eight. Um, that's the number you owe all your professional career. Yeah, it's a number that I fell in love with. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it carried me through my playing days till mm. I retired. Mm. But when I got to my last professional food team, Band uh, Academy, mm. funny enough, the number eight was won by someone else. Yeah. Yeah. So I you came late. I came for six months, January. So I had to make it 88. Oh, you made it 88. Yeah, yeah that's my last professional chase. So you had two number eight. So I said two yeah. number eight. And I, I, I'm told um, there are some people locally and internationally who inspired you to wear this number. Yeah, locally it was Thomas Chinchamalekha. Yeah. The late. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I was fortunate and a privilege to have worked with someone, a very humble guy. Mm who was a father to us. Yeah. Like, you know how Coach Kevin Hans used to, <laughs> to scream at us. <laughs> so he used to come to me and say, I don't relax, don't yeah. worry. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about guys like yeah. that. You must get used to him, understand? It was my first season at Supersport. Yeah. So I was like, what was am I dealing with yeah. now? This coach is always shouting, like screaming on the touchline. Yeah. The training was worse. Yeah. Worse than what you see at, at the game. Mm. Understand? So I used to ask, then coach Marikare came to me and said, ah, relax. Relax. It's like that. You'll get used to him. But after the game, you'll come to you and have a chat, laugh. Mm. Mm. What's happened in the game is the past. Yeah. yeah. And internationally, I know you are an Arsenal supporter. There's also a big Arsenal player, former Arsenal player who. Yeah, Freddy Lumbeck. Yeah, Lumbeck, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what an, an awesome guy. Mm. He, used to, he used to do many things with the ball. Yeah. You understand? So I used to admire him. Yeah. That's why I fall in love with Arsenal mm. till today. Mm. Yeah. And uh, as we get into uh, the, 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 uh, the other important stuff now, yeah. um, obviously, you know, I mean, like every black kid uh, growing up in the townships, uh, you know, Kasi football, that's where, that's where it's all started for you. Where did it all start for you? I was born and raised in Shawela. Mm. Yeah, that's where I come from and that's where my parents come from. I was born in a family of four. Mm. It's me, my dad. My mom, my sister. I'm st still blessed to, to have both, both parents mm -hmm. at the moment. So they, they, they encouraged me a lot through my playing days. Mm -hmm. And through my school days when I was playing football at the Dusty Street of Shawel, I played for a team called Jobet City, Marvelist. Mm -hmm. Then I played for. Arsenal. It was a team. <laughs> Do you know how that team was formed? Yeah. Uh, I played for Jobek City when I was young. Then, 15th, I went to Mavelist. Mm. So it was older guys there. Yeah. So I couldn't get game time. Game time. You know, when we were young, we used to playing, playing. 
Then it was school holidays. As his friend, we formed a team to play against other teams. So they said, what are we going to call this team? Yeah. So let's call it Arsenal. That's how the name came up. Yeah. Then it became a huge thing. Then I left my village. You know, it was the olden days. Yeah. You didn't have those cards. You, know, you just play. played, yeah. So we formed a team. It became a huge thing at in Shawel. Mm. That's where we started. Then I went to play for, I was picked to play for the Shawela. For the township team, yeah. Township team, yeah. Mm. Township team in Shawela. I was 17 years old by then, mm. playing at Kofram Loy. Yeah. And it was played with senior guys. Then both Tabo Moki, Steve oh. Rukoli, Jacob Loretto, China Mason, or yeah. like the list is endless. Yeah, the big players. But I mean, how was that experience of uh, playing with those guys, with Steve and Tabo? I Moe? used to, lo to look at those guys like at the earlier age, I was 16, 15. But then I was young, going there, you know, they used to play for, Tawamogi used to come from training straight to, to go from to, go from to play. Yeah. And uh, there was a time whereby his team was playing by that time. He came on second half. It was so impressive because he came late. Was driving a BM three two five. Yeah, yeah. Good yet from far. <laughs> <laughs> and he's sitting that side. He said, "Hey, this Tabo Mook. Everyone could s stop watching the game that just to see him. Grand entrance. To dressing up. Yeah. Looking at him dressing up, running to go and join the team. Yeah. Then, then so I fell in love with football and it was yeah. something amazing. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you played from Kofumle while you were still very young against yeah. older guys. Yeah. That also maybe explains a little bit on how good you were from, you know. Yeah. So they say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I played the earlier age with the, with the older guys at Kofumle. I think it played a big role because we ended up playing for the final, in the final. Yeah. And I played all the games. By then, and we lost to a team for Steve Lukoli from the Val. Yeah. From the Val. Then, after the game, a week after, a guy called Mike Nkuna. Yeah. To the businessman, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't stay far from my place. Ah, okay. So, I get a call from my parents saying someone is looking for me. Mm. I should rush home. Oh, okay. When I got there, I was not familiar with the guy, but I used to know that there's a guy who owns a, a BP garage yeah, yeah. called Mike Nkuna, but I didn't know how he looks. Understand? So when I get there, I said, This is Mike Nkuna. He said, he He's owning a team with Pet Malavel. Yeah. Dynamos. Dynamos, yeah. I should go there. And I say it's, it's an opportunity for me. Of course, yeah. And it was my first time going away from home. Yeah. Like I'm a Tonga, ne? but I've never been in Kian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was how funny it is. <laughs> like I'm and going to Kian. Could you speak the language? Yeah. I could. Yeah. Because at home we speak oh, yeah, yeah. Tonga. And my dad has relatives that side. Yeah. So my dad said, I don't worry. I've got relatives that side. So you will meet with them. Yeah. Give me their Farm. numbers. <laughs> Farm. <laughs> so I went there, stayed at the clubhouse. Mm. Like when I got into the clubhouse, first thing, Lefa Kosha. Right. The late Pumlanum Dindi. Yeah. Like Frank Makua. Hey. Joel Fires Rover. No, I'm saying, why am I going to play? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, those guys are. Like my first day of training, like I stood there and say, Am I going to play? Yeah. You probably stopped training and marveled at this guy. My anything. first training, it was like, I was looking at them and saying, yeah, hey, it's tough. It's easier from the outside, but it's yeah. when you enter the pitch, you can see now that different environments, yeah. different setup from the location. Training session, it's something else. 
by then it was Sakala, Jacob Sakala, the head Sakala. coach, yeah, and Steve Lecol, and sorry man, and Steve Compel was yeah. the assistant. Yeah. But it was a good experience for me, yeah. and a learning chapter for me, mm. understand? So I've learned a lot from those guys. Mm. Like how you should take care of yourself off and on the field. Mm. And I stayed with them at the clubhouse. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I mean, obviously, mixing with the big boys. Yeah. Uh, you're young, wet behind your ear, you have not yeah. played professional football before. Uh, sometimes you'll find senior players who come to you and, you know, advise you. Who, was, who are you more close to? A guy who would say, man, a different man is the one who helped me to get to grips with the demands of, of that level. At Danamos, I must say, all of them. Mm. But there was this guy called Arti Pinkos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timo. It was a, it was a character. Right team, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the training when he trains is serious. Mm. But off the pitch, when he gets to the clubhouse, like he could crack jokes, mm. laugh with you, advises you about life, how he, should, how he his journey begins, mm. understand? So I've learned so much from those guys. Yeah. 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 And uh, Jacob Sagala is a funny coach. <laughs> Yo, what a character! Yeah. Like his training sessions were were quick. Jacob Sagala can from now we're playing 11 11. Mm. Then when it's payday, he used to stand, stand there aside while just train. <laughs> when it's on close, clicks. He said, "Ding ding!" The SMS comes in. We paid. Yeah. You see him walking towards the gate. He's gone. To the park to the to the parking. Blows the whistle from there. <laughs> what, what? We're done. He gets into the gate and he goes take the then money. He, he rushes to the bank because that by that time we he goes to the office to get the check. Yeah. We we're, we're paid for, through through checks, yeah. Checks. First come, first serve. Yeah, because if you go last the check bounces because the money's finished. By that time I was young, we didn't have cars. Yeah. We have to wait in the bus, go to the clubhouse to bath first, then to the bank. Yeah. And funny enough, it was like, those us with small... You know, we probably never get paid. Yeah, yeah. we have to wait yeah. for the management to tell us, I, maybe it was a Monday, on Friday you'll get your money. Yeah. yeah. But that was a constant thing, eh? that players sometimes would get paid and all that. Yeah, but at Dynamo, Dynamo, it was like, it couldn't take long. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was a Monday on Friday, you get paid. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys were paid, were get paid little, eh? Yeah, it was. By that time, I was earning, at Dynamo, I was earning 1.5. Yeah. But I mean, at the same time, also at that time, 1.5 was quite significant for a young person. It was, because I used to, for cosmetic, mm. we didn't pay rent, but I was staying at the clubhouse. Didn't have a car, didn't have a phone, used to go to public phones. Mm, mm. Just to yeah, the telecom one. Call yeah. at home, house, life, house things. Uh. Understand? Then leftovers, buy sweets. And, and some fun times and all that. Yeah. 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 Just mm. for that. Mm. Now, um, obviously, you're still young. Yeah. Um, Steve Compella is there, coach. Was the assistant. Was the assistant coach, yeah. yeah. Um, what were your impressions of Coach Steve at that time? Because um, he, he has gone to do some some good things. He's somebody who's well respected, well spoken, and you know. Yeah, it was his start of his career. Mm. So he was still learning from Coach Jacob Sakal. Mm. So he was an assistant, but someone who could motivate at the same time. So if you needed some guidance, we go to talk him. to him. And mm. he was loud also. Mm. He was loud like in terms of cracking jokes. Like if you miss a goal, hey, Babo and Zan. <laughs> I understand. So yeah. it was fun, man. The training yeah. was fun. Yeah. 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 The unfortunate part for you there, the Ramos, is that you, you don't get to play enough. Yeah. And then they said you don't know. If I can tell you how I got my first professional debut. Mm. It's like we're playing in Tembisa. Against Tembisa class. Hey, Cosmos, Cosmos. Mm. Makulo. 
a night game. I was in the 18 by that day. So the games that I, I went to, I didn't play. I was sitting on the bench. But it was a great experience for me yeah. to see how professional level set up and how it, it's, it's the, the football is played. Yeah. Then Frank Makua got injured. Yeah. First half. Then Coach Sakala says to me, Mafuja, so go, my pair. I was like, is he talking to me, this guy? Yeah. So I ignored him. Yeah, because you were scared? Yeah, because there the were guys like Joel, Fire, Soroba, yeah. and, and by the time David Matebula was there also, was yeah. in the same... It's the yeah. Yeah. And he says, Mavuja Sugu, my pal. Oh, my up. He's not talking to me. And the guy said, hey, Mavuja, you coming on. How? Oh. Hey, he said, let me on. Quick, 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 quick. Hey, I was shivering by that day. Yeah, scared. I was scared, like... What am I going to do? What's happened? Funny enough, my first touch it was a nice touch. That's what kicked on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I enjoyed that game. Yeah. And we we won. And I I scored with a full kick. Mm. Yeah, that's how good things good started. started. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now you were later loaned. Yeah, it was, I played only one game for Dynamos. Mm. That was that game? That was that day, that game. Towards the end of the season, then the new season came. Couldn't play, couldn't break into the team. Then Coach Sakala, team was not doing okay. Then Coach Sakala left. Mm. When he left, after two days, called at the office, Sakala, I found Sakala there. I'm for Changama now. Yeah. Could you see up? Yeah. I don't even know where the where hell is Danger Stakis. Mpumalang, Nels Prit. Got into the car, went to Nels Prit. And I was not playing regular. For Dynamos. Yeah. For Dynamos. Yeah, yeah. Under him. Coach Sakal. And he's taking you. And he's taking me. When I got there, I played. All the games. But now, who are the players that you find there? At the, at the, the players that I find there, it was with Tulakhan uh, Yohashubedu. Yeah, the, the, the people who may, may remember is the, the players who are president now. Yes. Yeah. Then we had Vieira, I played with him at Dynamos. We had BA, I played with him at Dynamos also, he was loaned out there. Then we had. Uh, Gerald Mudabi. Yeah. Uh, Shasha Mulekwa. Yeah, I remember. He went, was at Pirates. Was at Pirates. Yeah. Shasha Mulekwa. Yeah, those are the guys. So the team was not as strong as, as Dynamos. Hence yeah, it was not as strong as Dynamos. Yeah. But it was a good team. Mm -hmm. Of We ended up in the top five. Then the team was sold. Mm. I had to go back home. Mm. Okay, so my watch now, how? Uh, when the team is that dangerous, like it is sold, yeah. you go home, you do nothing for a week or so. Yeah. How do you join uh, Black Leopards now? I joined Black Leopard after the spell of uh, Dangerous Takis. Mm. Went home. When I got home, I stayed a week at home doing nothing. So one day when I'm sitting at home with my parents, like watching TV, it was late at night. Mm. The car came, Black Leopard, David Tidel. Spoke to my dad. Um, I came to take job. <laughs> We're playing a friend against uh, in Kuangua. Yeah. The team called, uh, what was the team that Tiko played for? Ulugwani Pillars. Pillars? Yeah. How? Then my dad says, are you the owner? I said, yes, I'm the owner. Don't worry, he's in good hands. Mm. Then I packed my bag, went to sleep at this place in Pasonia. The next morning we drove off. Mm. 
Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. Went to Nguangu. The coach, it was uh, Jacob Sagan. <laughs> Again. <laughs> hey, you are Jacob Sagan. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there is see how coach Sagala. <laughs> you again. Well, game started, came on second half. Chairman liked me. Said I going straight to Venda. Mm. No more going back home. We're signing you. The next morning, got signed. Mm. Played for, for Leopard. For Leopard. How was Leopard? It was a struggle at first when Coach Sakala left. Because I played, things were not going well. Mm. Then came six, Coach Six Mashal. Yeah. Then it became difficult. It was the worst time of my life in football. Why? Why? He didn't like you, what? I, I, he didn't like me. Let me put it like that. Yeah. Because there was a time I was in the starting 11. The night before, there was a team talk. So they would say to you, just be honest. Write your strength and your weakness in football. Mm. What's your strength? So I said, my strength is playing football, combining passes, free kicks, corner kicks. What's your weakness? I said, coach, my weakness is marking. I'm not good in that. Because yeah. I have to be honest. Yeah, yeah. The next day, went to play in Toyando. I think 15 minutes was enough. <laughs> I was pulled off. Yeah. <laughs> then he comes to me and says, my man, you can't defend. But that's in what my, you told you. So I said, so I was young when I died. I yeah. said, oh, OK. So in my team, if you can't defend, you can't play. Yeah. You won't play in my team. So I was, I was down by then. As a youngster playing just 15 minutes, thinking, will I make it into? Yeah, you start doubting yourself. You start doubting yourself. Yeah. Think maybe, hey, maybe I'm a bad player. Mm. Then, for, fortunately, the chairman said to me, "Don't worry. You're still a good player." So I said, "Oh, if the chairman says to me." I must say, well, why must I be hard on myself? Yeah. The next game I was not featured, not even in the 18. Then went to play Marisbeck. Same. Then he was was fired. Yeah. And then things changed, probably. Then things changed. Then came Bibi, the late Bibi Mutombo. Bibi Mutombo, yeah. Yeah. Then things shaped up. Yeah. Because I see when he left, I think he went to Pirates. Yeah. Yeah. So, who were some of the players that you played with at, uh, at Leopards? Also, they had a good team, eh? They had a good team. When I, when I first arrived, they were. They had. Chokoniba uh, Trivi. Mm. Peter Matsite. Yeah, yeah. The left back, yeah. The left back. They had Lavas Mosali. Who? Oh. There's Wilson Lamini. Yeah, from Swaziland. From Swaziland. Yeah. That uh, Matari. Yes, yes. This is Zive. Yeah. Christopher Nzizi. Christopher Nzizi. Yeah. One of them was Uzi. Oh. Uzani, Ramuzuli. And, and the goalkeeper must have been the coach now. Who is the coach of Venda now? Yeah, Joel Masuta. Joel Masuta, yes. Yeah. It was the, yeah, the it goalkeeper. Was good team, eh? It was a good team. Mm. It was a good team. Mm. Just that you didn't have luck. You didn't have luck of four. Yeah, it was a good team. Yeah. That, that was a time when I went to play. Uh, Iwisa Spetokula. Yeah. At the FNB, yeah. Yeah, at the yeah. FNB, top yeah. four. Yeah. You know, I. it was a great experience for me to play that Yeah. Because the tournament that I used to... You used to watch on TV. To walk, not to watch. Oh, to walk to the stadium, yeah. To go to FNB. Yeah. Spend there for the whole day. We spend there for Probably the whole day. with no money for lunch and nothing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> and I ended up playing that tournament. Yeah. Yeah. We had a good team then. Yeah. The, as you know, they had a good fun pace. Yeah. And Spectacular yeah. was a voting. Yeah. So people voted. Yeah. yeah. So mm. we used to make it in there. Yeah. Spectacular. So now, uh, 
you you do well. I mean, can you say you probably played your best football there, maybe? It was because it it took me to the national team. Yeah, that's where I was recognized by Coach Pizzo and Coach Pereira, Pereira mm. from Brazil. Mm. Mm. I got three collapses. Mm. Yeah, mm. so I think I played my best football. Yeah, we'll get to the national team a little bit later. Yeah. Now, what happens from Black Lapas now? Because your career it looks like it's, it's taking off now. Yeah, my, my career was taking off. Then uh, it came to a point where I was staying with some Pokekan. Mm. In, in one house. Mm. In Sposiso Lamin. And by the time we're doing great, Tompo is playing, I'm playing, Sposiso Lamin is playing. Yeah, the team is doing fairly well. The team is doing very well. Then Chompo goes. Fortunately, we got relegated. Chompo goes. Now. Now, Coach Kevin calls. Hey, I need you. Kevin Hunt, yeah. Yeah. Hey. So now I must force this move <laughs> to leave. Yeah, Kevin Hunt is elsewhere. Yeah, he's at Super Sports. Yeah. <laughs> so I must force this move to go. I hook a crew. The team is relegated. So I cannot come play for nation, for first division now. Yeah, and, and you are in the discussions for the NFD. national team now, and yeah. Now the owner is refusing. No, I can't let you go. Klumpo just left. If you go now, we won't have players. It stayed for six months. I told the chairman, no, I'm not happy. Mm, mm, mm. Can can I? Can I move in a decent manner? Mm. Can I move? He said, are you sure? I said, yeah. I want to move. And that's how. That's how I went to Super Sport. The, yeah. the deal get materialized. So now, uh, Black Labs get relegated, but your career is taking off and there are offers. Uh, Super Sport, I'm told even parents were looking at your direction. Yeah, in Amazul. In Amazul, yeah. Yeah, on board. So now the chairman says to me, you have to go to Paris. <laughs> and I've already spoken to Coach Kevin Hunt. Yeah. And then I have to sit down and think. I said, now Coach Kevin is calling me, we've won the league, this and blah, blah. Now I'm thinking, Paris. I said, I, let me go to Super Sport. And by that time, Lewu, from Pokegan. Yeah. Went to Super Sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go to Super Sports. Yeah. But now I'm interested in this one because you must have looked at Paris. Yeah. What uh, was maybe not going to Paris because you felt you may not play there because of what they had or or I think even the approach, you know when someone really needs you. Yeah, they you could see that there I'm going to play. Yeah. Unlike someone saying to you, uh, we want you. We need you on board. But what are they saying? Mm. Understand? Mm. So, so they were not persistent and strong. Yeah. Then and the chairman saying to me, saying you must go. I've already deal has been done. Mm. So, no, I'm not going there. Mm. But the parents, who were who, who were the players there? I mean, what's happened? Maybe with Chansa and Yeah, that, that was Chansa, Tiko. Tiko just left from Super Sport going to Paris. Yeah. But they had a good team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you get to Super Sport, what do you find there? Um, also another solid team. Yeah, a solid team. Bunch of good players. Happy family. Mm. Like the way we are so close to each other. Like at each and every training session, we used to train in Pitoa, yeah. at Kuntluf. When the the session training session ends. There was there was there was lunch. Yeah. Then after lunch, we go to the park. And by the way, Chris Craven, his training session was short. Mm. We come at seven. We had breakfast. Eight. Gym till nine. Nine until ten. At the field. Then we tell the child. Mm. You look at the time, half past 11. We still have got the whole half day. Half past 10, we still have got the day. So we had Tieti Mahu, Amogen Gold, Bongani Kumalo, Pule, 
Bibon Jumayelo, Kemi Terasmas, to sit underneath the tree just from half football. past ten until two o'clock. Like, just talking football. Just talking football about life. Uh. Just imagine that's the way we were we that born. So, like, it was an amazing group. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you didn't have too many troublemakers there because in the clubs, you normally find these guys who come to train in rank and all those things, and they, they become a they become a problem. No, we, to the didn't, we didn't have, but we had a crazy guy called <laughs> Zongo. Yeah, yeah. Well, everybody knows Zongo. Ah, that guy is a character. <laughs> I remember we were going to to Egypt, yeah. going to play in Africa. Yeah. When we we took a plane to. <laughs> To France first, yeah. to connect. To connect, yeah. So we had to stay there in France. He had this picture of a girlfriend framed. Yeah. So when he was sleeping there at the airport, he put it there outside. So, so why are you doing the picture? This is my girlfriend. I'm going everywhere with him. Yeah. With her. So <laughs> this is the character. Yeah. End of the month, you could see that it's paint day. Mm. Come with a suit. Like, Properly dressed. Yeah. yeah this, this is the bag called Mucheka. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's money there inside. Yes, already with all the money. You, you could see that the ah, is red. We knew that the eyes ah, paid it today. Because mm. you could dress. Dress to kill. Zizu. Zizu. Yeah. It was a character. Yeah. yeah and so also a, an exceptional talent, let, let's be honest. You know. He Just was, he was. He used to fight with Kevin Hunt. Come said, when we're doing, when we're playing, he said, hi, put me, I'll show you. Mm. Then Coach Gavin will to put him. Guess what? Hey, you'll do miracles with that. Yeah, player. yeah, he was skillful. He yeah. was so talented. We used to talk to him each and every day. To see his man. But it was, it was, it was a, such a uh, humble boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he just enjoyed so his life. So yeah. talented. Yeah. He was talented, that boy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And from there, oh, but before you, uh, you won the league at Supersport. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. It was those great moments that I have, that I cherished with all my life. Mm. As a youngster, something that I wished to happen in my career, that I wished to win the league mm. one day, mm. and it happens. So you I won mean. the second one, or the... The third one. The third, the final one, yeah. Yeah, and, and tell me the Netbank Cup. And the Nelbank Cup. Yeah. How how difficult was it, was, was it to win that league? Because I mean, it must be very The difficult. league. It was so difficult that we won the league. We lost the final game mm. against Vest. Vest. Still remember that game. Still playing in my head. Mm. We needed to win that game. Fine. It was it was like. We made sure we won earlier. Just imagine if it was the game of our life playing it there. And then you lose it. And then we lose it. The same as what happened to us, Cape Town. Yeah. Yeah. So we wrapped it early. Then the last game we we lost to mm. to Vets. Mm. But we won the league. And hey, it was so three times in a row. Yeah. It was so amazing. But now we were just happy. At least we got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. got the league. Yeah. And then, obviously, I mean, you know, your career, you are, you are the man and all these things. You've won the league. And yeah. Now, maybe in brief, just what happens from there? I mean, from there until the end of your career because I you moved stayed, a bit around. I stayed for three and a half. Let me say, f yeah, four. That's super sports. Mm. Four years. Then coach Covenant left, going to, to, went to Vitz. Yeah. Yeah. After winning the Netbank Cup, mm. went to the Vitz. Then things started to, not to look good. Yeah. Then coach uh, Kevin came in. Johnson. Kevin Johnson, yes. He came in, good coach, but things didn't work out. Understand? Because from 
Platinum Stars. Since they were playing good football, yeah. he tried to introduce the the same things, the same things, but it didn't work out. Mm. Then we went to play Pulukwani seat. December time, last day of last league game of the first round. Played Pulukwani, came back home, December break. January, Johnny came on board. Mm. At Blue Corner City, yeah. Yeah, approach Super Sport. It's your own loan. Then I went there on loan. Then I played, then he said he wants to keep me. Yeah. Then that's how I stayed at Blue Corner. Mm. Yeah. And you stayed for, for, for a while then? Yeah, I stayed. For, for four. Yeah, four years. Mm. Yeah. So Pete, the team was like that, you know. Yeah. You also looked like you had something going there. <laughs> I joy I enjoyed. Mm. Like it was the best also. Mm. I enjoyed because I was made a captain. Mm. Now that's where the dealership stuck. Yeah. Started. And we were playing pirates at Orlando. Stadium. We were coached by Coach Papik. Yeah. Then it was pretty much me. The day of the game comes to me and say, Chuck, you're the captain today. I said, Why? I said, I'm making you a captain. That's how I started my. And, and were we ever in the captain before? Or maybe. I did captain it. Super sport before. Mm. I played like when Tower is not around. Tower September, yeah. Yeah. You know, Calvin, you have to pick. <laughs> Today's captain is Chavo. <laughs> Next time it's in Chumaye. It's someone else, yeah. Tower September. I understand Morgan Gold. Yeah. 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 So um, you also enjoy the leadership? And yeah, I also. Mm. That's, that's how it built my career. Yeah. That's mm. where leadership struck in, mm. and I used to play. Must play a bigger role now. Mm -hmm. To manage the team, take care of the guys, how to speak to the guys. Doesn't mean if you are a captain, you have to shout. Yeah. And it gave me a, a bigger role to play, mm. bigger shoes to, to fill, mm. whereby I have to perform week in, week out, yeah. consistent. Yeah. Understand? Because you can't be a captain sit on the bench. Mm. Yeah. And now your career, I think, we're from Polokwane now. And until you, you reach a stage to retire, which you didn't really make a lot of noise about retiring. No, I am I'm, I'm a guy who, who does his things behind the scene. <laughs> I'm not a Hence, it was so difficult to get all of you. <laughs> yeah, it's like to do an interview with me. Mm. It's hard. Mm. It's hard. It's hard. It's really hard because I'm a shy guy. Mm. But most of you guys don't like doing these interviews. What's what's with with let me speak on my behalf. With me, like I used to, I like to play down you do your down talking low. on the field. Yeah, I, my talking should be done on the field. Mm. You should see what I have done in the field, not by interviews week in week out. Mm. Then I'm losing focus now. Mm. Understand? So I was best in playing yeah. football. And, and what? Make you to finally decide, ah, no, this is it now, I'm, I'm done. And you moved to a few small clubs there, here and there. After Pulugwani, got a call from Skukuni. Before Skukuni, there was Swilos. Mm. And they won promotion. Then Skukuni spoke to them, a better offer. Then I said, hey, let me go to Skukuni. Because that's bigger dreams mm. in getting promotion, understand? Then I went there, signed the deal, started playing. Mm. Yeah. Then they asked, uh, so I could see the team was not properly balanced. As they were saying, they want promotion. Then I had to to wrap up and say, hey, there's a guy that I know, man. 
which you can get hold of. Mm. You can give us big depth into the team, which is Morgan Gold. Then I had to call Morgan. Yeah. I said, Morgan, who go up in Fanam? I don't call Nava Wam. I don't call Nava Wam. I don't call Nava Wam. Then I said, oh, so that's the ball. Mm. Then he came. He loved football also. Mm. He came. That's how Skokun started. Mm. Then we play, I played there, played a big role in taking, helping the coach. Because he was someone who could come to you and say, this job, as for advices. How's the team? How should we plan according to this game? Then we could talk to him, me and Morgan, and say, hi, mm. coach, this is how we should play this and this and this. Mm. You understand? Because mm. mm. he, could, he could listen to us. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. understand? Mm. So I think that's mm. how we started at Skukuni. Mm. And then yeah. you went to Venda and? Then at Skukuni, one promotion. After one promotion, you know how football it is. <laughs> <laughs> they change everything. <laughs> everything. You know, they will promise you heaven and earth. We keep in the same team, all those things. Two games to go. Chairman comes. We're sitting. He's talking to us. Chabu, Morgan, Kapin. You're going nowhere. The future of this team. I'm giving you a contract. <laughs> when we win the league. Two games to go. Uh, and when you win the league, this is the money that you're getting. Uh, we won. The last two. Final game, we won. Got promotion. It was there in the Shoshanguve, eh? Against JDR, I think. JDR. Yeah, I remember that match. Shoshanguve won the promotion. After the game, it was a big party. Captain Park. Like, the money was spent. Mm. With the supporters, everything. I will call you guys when we open. <laughs> I'm Went sure home. I'm sure you are still waiting for the call. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know when you, when, you, when, you, when you win promotion, when you get home, you relax. Everything is pop up. Get home. I'm relaxed. Two months sitting at home. Uh, Morgan, you, move. you check. Oh, I'm so guy. Then the guys call. Hey, Baba, go be a G, man. I'm so born. I'm full of it. It's all. I will. I'm in a bank. What? But you can't go because they didn't call. Train on in. I'm so sad. Train on in. When they. Training. Oh, you know how the security is, is so tight. It's cocoon to get in. It was tight as is the security guards. Get there. You're not allowed in these premises. Hmm. You're not allowed. Why? They said uh, you can't train. Oh, okay. Get there. Sit down, watch training from the stands. Then the coach comes. Why am I train? Coach, you train in the game. Why aren't you training? You think I train? Mm. No, I'm going to train. Then the manager comes and says, hey, my man, you're not allowed here. Go to the office. The chairman is waiting for you. Yes. Get there. The chairman says, the coach says you're not in his plans. But I was talking to the coach today. Then I made it simple for them. I said, yeah. can I have my clearance? Let's not fight. Because I'm not that guy who likes to fight. Yeah, I would clap him. Now we end up going to, to lawyers, to the union. Can I have my paper? Let me go. Can I have my settlement? Let me go. I said, ah, uh, hey. We can't. The only settlement we can give you is three months. 
said even the, if it's that case then it's fine I have to make it difficult for them I want my full amount of the remainder of the contract of the remaining of my contract how we can't I said I'm staying I will come to training each and every day and then you must pay me you'll pay me don't come to training I said give me a written letter to state and say you're not allowed to come to training they email me I said cool it's written you'll get paid sitting at home that time I'm 39 hey. and I'm saying to my family I now it's time for me to to retire mm. when this contract finish I'm done I'm done six months to go I we can't pay you anymore sitting down I didn't choose but I was training at home going to vision active going to the location training with the guys mm. but you know it won't, it won't be effective no it's not yeah it's not the same yeah. then they say I there's a team that wants you I said which team is it Vendor Academy Vendor Academy I've never heard of a team called Vendor Academy by that time they are second on the log it's a Monday the manager calls says tomorrow you need to leave then I say but manager I've got my own family can I just rock up at home and say to my family you must leave yeah. I'm tomorrow leaving. I'm leaving yeah. if I'm leaving where am I going where am I going to stay accommodation in terms of salary who's paying my salary no will work and I said no before I leave I should know who's paying my salary and where am I going accommodation so I had friends and family that side mm. so I had to call a family member saying hey, can you look for an accommodation for me yeah so there was a lodge proper lodge then I told them I've got an accommodation this is so much they said oh, they will pay every month said that it must be written down and you guys must pay full my salary not that other team yeah. I don't mind going there so it's fine then I went there mm. but when I got there you know coming from teams that you've played proper structure feels okay it's not like now I'm in the developed structure where I'm studying my <laughs> where I used to when yeah. I was at the location yeah I don't know understand you can simplify you are used to proper things yeah feels and hey, now I'm in the location almost now I said hey, back to square one mm. I said I let me finish my contract mm. But things were not we're not right, yeah. We're not okay there, man. Mm. I used to enjoy pro football when we go to training on a Thursday and a Friday. Because I know you're going to to the stadium. Mm. That's where you will enjoy football. But uh, I said I let me finish my contract. Mm. Then when my contract finished, I came straight home. But I had uh, better communication with Coach Kevin Hunt we used to communicate. Yeah, yeah. Even when I was still playing for Pulugan City, used to the call and call house life, house things there. Throw WhatsApp. Are you okay, my boy? I'm okay, coach. House things. So when I retired, and said, I know I'm, I, I'm fed up with football. Let me finish while. I'm I'm there. Mm. Understand? Not to finish football, saying, "Hey, let me force another season." Yeah. And I'm 40 by then. Yeah. Now I don't want to this thing of saying, going to to the game, fans booing, woo, boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want that. And you know how football it is these days. These youngsters will come to you and say, "Ah, good man, so pretty, the man." Yeah, and that can also I don't want to. You. I, 
Yeah. You understand? Yeah. After a, such a, a good career in your life, then a youngster comes to you. I could man so pretty. Yeah, it's tough. Imagine a youngster coming to your train saying Khutman Pedi then it kills you that yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just to sit down with my family and say, Aye, now it's time. Mm. Mm. Now it's time. In football I feel we have to accept or oh, now it's time. Because mm. if you don't accept in life, or oh, I've enjoyed football, I've played my part, now it's time for me to retire. Because mm. 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 I feel as players, we go through like a time whereby it hit us to where we get to to take drugs yeah. and do some funny, some funny stuff. Because mm. you regret of saying, I've done so much for football. How can it be so? Cruel to me now. Yeah. Understand? There's mental health issues here. Yeah. yeah, mental health issues. You yeah. find out there's someone sick or someone taking drugs. Understand? Mm. That's why I had to sit down with my family and say, I, This is it. This is it. Mm. Let me finish at the higher note. I'm done. Mm. So, um, as we're starting to wrap up now, um, you had a very good career. Yeah. Uh, I guess you know we'll all agree on that one. But something that strikes me: uh, how did you stay in the game for this long? I think you you made your debut in two thousand and two. You stayed for almost almost eighteen, nineteen in the professional. Yeah, two thousand and two. What, what what does it take to to have that longevity in the game? Uh, I think first of all is the is the discipline, the dedication. Mm and the respect you know respect comes from the background female that's where we've been taught mm. how to respect the other mm. not only the other even a younger person to you mm. you should respect him so respect takes you a long gives you a long a longer mm. career mm. Mm. You understand because mm. If you don't respect this game, I feel you don't respect you also. Yeah. And then the other thing is, uh, I looked at your numbers. Um, three Bafana call-ups, but you never played a single match. Yeah. Um, is there regret or you have made peace with it? I don't live with regrets in my life. I hate saying I regret doing this. Do something that you love openly and willingly. It will sustain you to, take, to go more further. Mm. Understand? Because if you live with regrets, it will kill you mm. inside. Mm. I think for Bafana Bafana, yo, we're in the same age group. It was the time where Tico made his, de his debut. In Swaziland, yeah. In Swaziland. Parker. Itu. Sapo I still have that t-shirt till today. Yeah. Signed. The Adidas t-shirt. Of all those guys where yeah. we made our first. Yeah. So I, I, I was saying it was difficult to get into Bafana Fana squad. They were a good team. Yeah. So for me, I think the guys played a bigger role mm. for us to win that Kosafa Cup, mm. understand? I just have to cherish the moment that we spent together there. Mm. Yeah. And he was coach called by the big coach, eh? Carlos Pereira and Pizzo. Yeah, and Pizzo. Coach Pizzo, Pizzo yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now, the other important thing is, like I'm saying, we are wrapping up now. You are back here at Supersport. Uh, this is where you guys do your stuff. Yeah. Uh, as a coach, I'm told you are a you are a dead ball specialist coach. Yeah, I said piece. Uh, uh, there's a goalkeeper coach, there's a strikers coach these days. <laughs> so you are dealing with a set piece. I mean, I mean, how is this coaching thing? And obviously you're also coaching the under-19s here yeah. in the club. But how are you enjoying working with the first team? I know you have got a lot of respect and understanding with Coach Gavin Hunt. Yeah. So, how, so how is this experience? 
You know, when I, I first got a call saying to coach saying to me, do you love coaching? Because I know you love football. And I said, coach, yeah, I am. He said, come on board. I was so excited. Mm. You know, and big up to, to him and the team, understand, for bringing me here mm. to start my coaching career. It's not an easy task. It's a bigger challenge that I have to, to take. Mm. Understand, because I start as early as seven o'clock. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. With the first team, the boardroom discussing the training session of the first team. By that, I'm learning also how they talk, how they structure the team, mm. how things are done. Then, when it comes to the field, it's it gives me that. Me and Tao and Coach Rosco, those task of him will deal with these guys, us who should deal with these guys, it give you the motivation of saying the coach trust. Yeah. It goes trust in us that you should take off the guys mm. and make them train, mm. understand? Mm. Then after training, that's where my part comes, doing the set pieces, shooting, crossing and finishing mm. with the guy doing extras. Because mm. this nowadays, you see players that comes in, they train, boom, in the cars, going home. <laughs> yeah. Understand? And the set piece was your thing, eh? You... It, was a, it was my bread and butter. You used to bend it like, a, well, I don't want to mention name, but you want to bend it like Mavoja. <laughs> yeah, I can even say it like Beckham. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because I used to admire that guy also. Mm. Understand? Because he used to score. Yeah. Free kick. Because. That was my prayer and part. Yeah, yeah, easy. That was my prayer and part. I used to specialize in those things. Yeah. And there was not a, a quicker guy mm. inside the field, but I used to, to pass. That was my strength, to pass and to score free kicks. Yeah. So, um, Mavoja, lastly, um, we've been talking here for a while now. Yeah. There are a lot of people, and I'm also one of those people who feel that um, you were grossly underrated. Yeah. Um, obviously, you mentioned some of the players that you played with in your generation, but yeah. um, do you feel the same that uh, people didn't rate you or don't rate you or didn't rate you as highly as they should? Were you, were you that underrated? Yeah, I was underrated. It's, it's a sad part. But I have to deal with it, mm. understand? Because I had to prove my talent to people and show it cases in the field of play, understand? But I did my utmost part of saying I gave it my all mm. and I showcased my talent mm. and I've enjoyed football. Mm. Yeah, but. South African football have to live with it. It is what it is, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. yeah. You look back, you're happy, you have achieved all you wanted to achieve. And also, um, maybe last, last, um, yeah. sometimes when you see former players who are really, really struggling um, mm. for a variety of reasons, uh, you know, you come across as somebody who I played with, look after your staff and uh, you retired in a good space. Uh, is that maybe some of the advices that you will share with some of these current players who coach now to say, you may be making money now, but your career is too short? Yeah, in football, you never know when it's your last contract. So play as if it's your last contract. Understand? The opportunity that you get, make use of it. In football, Anything can happen. Mm. You can break your leg. Contract can be uh, terminated at any time. Yeah. Understand? So I was fortunate that those things never happened to me. And I really take care of myself, take care of my body. Mm. And the off the field, I think you should be spot on with it. Know where to go, not when to go know when to do things and not when to do to those things mm. understand 
because I don't think it's a problem for for guys to be to be drinking, mm. but know your limit. Yeah. Know when to drink. Mm. I mean, you cannot drink on a Friday knowing going to to play on a Saturday or on a Sunday. Mm. Understand? I don't drink at all, mm. but I don't have a problem with people who drinks because mm. I've played with people. And I've, I've hang around a lot with people who drinks. <laughs> and it come to a point whereby, even today, when I'm sitting at my hood in Shawela, with guys bottling around us, uh, people will say, hey, we are poor, uh, I'm shy. Uh, but I don't drink. Uh, I've never mm. tasted. And you have played with people drunk. And I've played with people who come to training drunk. <laughs> it's and a, I've well, I know it, I said this the last. Then I cannot say names, and I've rescued people yeah. at night, calling me about two, three a.m., saying, "Hey, my man, I can't drive. Yeah. Come pick me up." Yeah. Then I have to go say, "Hey, my man, pack your car here. We fetch it the next morning. Let's go. Yeah. Drop him." And I had to make sure in the morning he has to wake up for training. If he doesn't wake up, I have to cover for him and say, hey, he's not feeling well. Because I was a captain. Yeah. I have to, to cover for the guys. They will tell you, if you come to training, I will go to you and say, hey, my man. Or call the whole team and say, guys, you could see how messed up he is today. Yeah. Let's cover for him. Let him go home. Or go to the physio room. Tell him you're injured, you got an ankle injury. You will smell alcohol there. Yeah, at least the, <laughs> the physio, you'll be sleeping while he, he does. You understand? Because yeah, yeah. I used to tell the guys if don't come to training drunk, better make an excuse of saying you woke up late or puncher or something else. You understand? Mm. Even though it's not a valid reason, but imagine your image coming to training drunk. The coach, some coaches don't take it. You understand? They'll chase you. Mm. So it's, it's a sad part of some of our players, their career was messed up through drinking, mm. understand, and smoking. And mm. it's sad to see your colleague not doing well after football mm. breaks breaks my heart because some of them used to to earn a lot and better and good and better understand but it's football mm. you have to take that's what I'm saying don't never regret just what you have enjoyed take the positive out of it yeah. and leave the negative. Mm. That's why I always tell my boys, stay, like Coach Gavin used to tell me, be honest to this game. Yeah. It will pay you in the long run. If you're honest to it, it will be honest to, it will be honest to you also. Mm. Yeah. So I know, you know, as we speak like this, yeah. there are guys behind the camera, they have signaled to me yeah, that we have to finish <laughs> this thing. but. And I'd already said the last question, but this is the last one now. Okay. Um, I don't know if you maybe you may be able to mention names or whatever, but you must have seen many players, good players, whose careers went nowhere mm. because of just lack of professionalism, mm. alcohol abuse, and just lacking common decency of respecting the game, as you say. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, I cannot say names. Yeah, understand. But there are a lot whereby I played with, and they had, they were fortunate to get second chance in life yeah, yeah. to redeem their career, of which it happened like that. But they messed up the game. <laughs> yeah. You understand? And there are some of the guys who got a chance even now after playing football, which I cannot mention names. Yeah, yeah. Still doing the same thing that is 
he has done while playing, doing the same mistake while he's doing now. Mm, which is, which is it's so sad. And when you talk to him, the response you get is, so mm. But respect the profession, the professionalism where you are now in the football space, working with, with kids. Mm. Understand? You should set an example to those kids that you, you're coaching. Understand? You cannot come to training drunk. Can't go to, to the store to buy booze. Mm. Wearing super sports. This for the club, yeah. Kit. Understand? I mean, you can train. But drink indoors or drink somewhere else. Mm. Understand? That's what I'm saying. Do your things in a good man. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, Chabulani? Percival. Percival? Mavoji. Mavoji? Malulek. Malulek. Mm. Uh, thank you very much. Um, You're more than welcome, sir. Uh, we had to move a mountain a little bit to get this interview done. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's hard you, <laughs> it's hard. because you just don't like doing interviews, but um, I don't, because I've learned my lesson when I was still at Leopard. There's an interview that I've done, and I've said something, which was not, yeah, said the, the way, way I wanted you said to it, be. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. So it broke me down, and you said no. that's why it came to to yeah. to a limit of saying, yeah. "Ash interviews, man, no more." No more. Mm. That's why you'll never see me on newspapers or. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, um, we, 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 are, we are thankful here at Prime Sports Mosa that you have agreed to speak to us. It's yeah. highly, highly appreciated. What we wanted to do was to, was to celebrate you. I think um, you. you are definitely one of the best players of your generation. Um, it's a mm. pity um, you didn't even get one, but yeah. it was something that was beyond your control. Yeah. And, uh, you know, in closing, I can say thank you very much for the memories. Uh, hopefully, now that you're coaching here, you can give us one Mavojanya and we can score those free Yeah, I will, I will, I will. And, uh, you know, uh, with, with, easy, that, with that said, I want to say thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very you're much. You're more than welcome at any time.